Hi, today so I'm going to show you how to add your own sounds into Crowdshot Studio. So there are two sides to Crowdshot Studio. There is uh, the perform mode accessed through this button here. Uh, and if you have a Crowdshot Studio subscription, this will be the first thing that you see. Um, there is a, another side to Crowdshot Studio, which is the edit mode. Uh, now this mode is only accessible through the Crowdshot Studio Pro subscription. Um, however, if you have this plan or you're on that trial, you can click this button here to go under the hood of all your favorite presets in the perform mode. Um, you can easily jump back and forth using this switch here. So once you're in the edit mode, you'll see that there's a lot more options here. You obviously got four tabs uh, and these tabs are scrollable and you can see you have the options here to access the individual parameters making up this preset and this core engine. And you also have options here to add engines. And this is the case for all four tabs that you see here. We've also got a miniaturized version of the perform mode here in this section. Uh, which we call the perform area and an assign area here for parameters now we won't go too much into detail on these sections in this in this this tutorial um, we're going to mainly look at how you can add your own sounds um, into the core engines in the edit mode so you can of course do this using um, any preset that you move to the edit mode to see inside um, just for the purposes of clarity though i'm going to go and use one of our preset templates to just wipe this all out and start from scratch. So using the burger menu, I'm gonna to go to load factory preset and I'm gonna look for the preset templates folder. I'm gonna to go to clean start. Okay, cool. So as you can see now, um, the tabs are just named one, two, three, four. They're all just empty and generic. And you've got just racks of empty core engine sections here. Uh, the perform area here also just has a simple XY pad. Um, all right, so let's take a look at adding some engines. So this is the first step to adding your own sounds. So as I hover over this engine, you'll see there's a little, uh, little highlight come here. Uh, if I click on it, I get the option to choose what type of engine falls into this core engine. If I move away, that option's then gonna disappear. Um, but obviously to add your own sounds, you need to add an engine. So let's add an engine. I'm gonna choose a sampler just because it's the most simple um, engine that we've got here and this will be the, a good demonstration of how to add your own sounds all right so there are two ways to add your own sounds to this engine once it's been added we can obviously just hover over here and click this will bring up a little dialogue and then we can navigate to any section on our drive and pick any file so let's just add this first step here okay so we've added our first sound i'm gonna go over to the xy pad here and just uh click on the menu here and activate note trigger so once I've done that, I can now trigger the sound that I've added. So we've only added one file here. Um, the core engines here can have up to 250 engines, uh, 250 sound samples uh, per engine. So let's add some more. So I'm just gonna uh, go over to Finder here. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find that directory where I had those footsteps and gravel. And I'm just gonna select a load more. Now I can just pick these up and drag them over into that core engine area and now as I trigger we're gonna hear every one of those samples in a random order. You can obviously change the settings here but now we've added our own sounds now into this first engine. Um, let's jump to the second tab and show what it'd be like to add another engine and add something different. So I'm actually going to choose a different form of engine here the granular engine. So you'll see that the process for adding your own sounds to a granular engine is exactly the same. So once an edit engine has been added, you can just click again, or just simply drag directly from Finder, Explorer, from your um, sound library management software, any place that you've got a compatible file. Um, I'm gonna go and find a different type of file here just to demonstrate the granular engine. I'm going to select this one here. Okay, so now when I click the XY pad, the granular engine will also be triggered. So um, you can only add one file at a time to a granular engine. You can browse through these here, but only one will be triggered at a time. In the sampler, you see, we saw that we imported loads and loads and loads of files that can also be accessed by clicking on them on the menu here. Um, we imported 18 files just by dragging those in. You'll also see that we've got a little uh, uh, blue dot here that shows you the currently loaded file that will be played. You can also jump to another another um, file to be played next simply from this menu as well. You can also use the left and right arrows to browse back and forth between them. So that's a really quick run through of how to add your own sounds, get them into the core engines and get them triggered. We're going to have some other tutorials now shortly that will show you how to connect these to the assign section to give you deeper control and also connecting the XY to this system as well. But this is a really good starting point for adding your own sounds into Crowdos Studio.